see what happens on my screen when I connect this device to my Wi-Fi and when I disconnect this device from my Wi-Fi. I'm connecting this device to my Wi-Fi. And I'm disconnecting this device from my Wi-Fi. So whenever I connect uh, this device to my Wi-Fi, I'm getting a notification showing me a message that one new device connected to my Wi-Fi. Uh, also, when I disconnect uh, this device, I'm also getting a notification uh, showing me a message that uh, one device disconnected from my Wi-Fi. I built this app which shows me a notification uh, when a device connects to my Wi-Fi or when a device is disconnected from my Wi-Fi. So in this video, I will explain the code that is working uh, within this app. For this app, I didn't use any NuGet package or Python code to scan my network. And uh, this is a pure .NET WPF application, which is running in background and uh, shows a notification whenever a device connect or disconnect from my Wi-Fi. So every router has a web interface, which allows us to configure its settings. The same interface would have a web page uh, which shows us statistics report of uh, wireless connected devices to that router. So I'm using uh, that uh, statistics report in my app. For my router, this is where I get that statistics report of uh, wireless connected devices. And uh, I will be using uh, this web page to collect the statistics report and uh, to collect the necessary information to show the notifications. Uh, let me show you what I'm collecting uh, from this web page. Uh, this is the document uh, that is uh, representing uh, this section of the web page. And uh, in, in its uh, head section, uh, the top two scripts uh, are very important. So I spent a lot of time to inspect uh, uh, where to inspect where uh, the code where the code or web interface uh, maintaining uh, its uh, connected devices information and uh, the number of connected devices uh, so I, I have found that uh, these two scripts are very important uh, and uh, these two scripts containing uh, two arrays and uh, the top script uh, the this array contains uh, the number of connected devices and uh, this array contains uh, the, the details about uh, the uh, de connected devices. So I'm not going to use uh, the second one. Uh, I want to keep it uh, very simple. So I'm only using the top script and uh, the first item of uh, this array represents uh, the number of uh, connected devices. So I have to collect uh, this information uh, from uh, this web page HTML document object model. In my WPF application, I'm using uh, a WebView 2 control uh, because uh, the default web browser control is not efficient enough. So I'm using a WebView 2 control to load uh, my router's uh, interface. And uh, I will be injecting some JavaScript code to collect uh, this array and uh, return uh, the number of connected uh, devices. The WebView is set to load my router's uh, web interface and uh, I'm also using a notify icon from a Windows form to make the app running in the background by placing it uh, in the system tray area. As per my observation, the web interface of my router recreates the object model of uh, this interface for every one second. So for that reason, I am using a, tim a timer which injects uh, this JavaScript code for every one second into the web interface of my router and uh, gives me the number of uh, connected devices in the C-Shop code. Let me explain the JavaScript code that I am injecting uh, into the web interface of my router. In the JavaScript code, I am defining a function. In this function, I am accessing a frame element that contains a document that represents uh, the statistics report of uh, connected devices. The document maintains a list of scripts in which uh, the first script what I need. So this script contains an array 
and uh, the first item of that array represents the number of connected devices. This script is uh, dynamic. That means uh, whenever a device connect to my Wi-Fi or disconnect from my Wi-Fi, the script gets updated for, um, by the web interface. In my JavaScript function, I'm accessing that uh, first script and uh, I'm getting uh, the inner text of the first script. So the inner text of the first script is a string representation of uh, an array. So that array maintains uh, a number of items, but uh, the first item is what I need. So the first item represents uh, the number of uh, connected devices. So here, uh, this line of code returns the, the array as a, as a string. So I want uh, the string to be converted into runtime object. So that way the array will be available uh, for access. So I'm using the evaluate function to convert uh, the string representation of uh, array into a runtime object. So after uh, evaluating uh, this, uh, I'm accessing, I'm directly accessing uh, the first item of the array. So after uh, defining this function, I'm instantly calling uh, the function. So which uh, returns uh, the number of connected devices, uh, I mean, which returns the first item and uh, that first item is uh, number of connected devices. So I'm passing uh, the, this script into web view execute script async function and uh, the return value will be the number of connected devices. The following code is very basic. I stored that value from uh, the JavaScript uh, code and uh, I perform few checks uh, with uh, the stored value and the active value. Um, and based on those checks, I display the notifications. This is the main window of my app. I have to log in into my web interface, my router web interface. After that, I have to navigate to the wireless statistics and then click the start button which starts the timer and then I can close the window and uh, the app will be running in the system tray area. So I have a device, I'm going to connect uh, this device to my Wi-Fi. And I get a notification and I'm disconnecting the device from my Wi-Fi and also I get a notification. Simple. 